Right, last one for Friday, VTubers. I thought I'd bring us this because I watched it early this morning, about four or five o'clock this morning. Uh, well, I'll let you judge. <laughs> oh dear, they should have got that Yusuf Bassam on to, uh, because it's this chap here, Mohammed Hijab, who's a bit of a legend in his own lunchtime. I mean, I've seen him on VTube since about 2017. Uh, he's a big, um, well, he thinks he's a big star of Speaker's Corner. He goes up there and bashes his Quran around the gaff, giving it all the lemon, you know. He's uh, got a massive ego, a massive ego, yes. Uh, I'd like to say as big, massive intellect, but uh, yes, I'd say his ego outsizes his intellect, which is where he struggles and where he always goes tits up. And he's up against a rabbi, Rabbi Shmuley. Oh dear, poor old Piers. I do feel sorry for him, mummy. <laughs> oh, it's like getting two bleeding cats and tying their bleeding tails together. So, this is what happens if you haven't seen it. Let's just jump straight in. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. So is viewed by more than 8 million people. Yes. Rabbi Shmuley Botiak has been called the most famous rabbi in America. Right, well, we'll just get done with Occupier that. Occupier of Gaza is go. Hamas. They won an election in 2006, <laughs> had a civil war with Mahmoud Abbas, took the Palestinian Authority, threw them off buildings, <laughs> killed Muslims, killed Arabs. Mahmoud Abbas... Is afraid to go to Gaza. He's terrified of Hamas. He hasn't been there since 2007. Oh, and let's this is comedy, right? It, it is, isn't it? I'm sure it is, honestly. Let's be clear. So Hamas funny. is an abomination to Islam. So, Sultan Salah is the greatest Muslim conqueror of all time. Right. After whom the main artery in, in Gaza is okay. named. He said that you have to allow all prisoners to be redeemed. He would never hold hostages. Right. This is, and remember, the Islam is about fair treatment of prisoners of war. Mm. Hamas beheaded Thai non-Jewish workers. You asked your last appearance here. For look, real, look, look, look. Um, he's, 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 he's a ticking I'm time bomb. Source. I saw it in Kibbutz al -Amin. He's a ticking time bomb on Mohammed. <laughs> Will you wait? <laughs> oh, dear. He's such an act. He's a really good comedy act. A poor old Rabbi Shmuley. He's going to get high blood pressure. I mean, everything he says, he could just say like in a lower, more reasoned, rational tone, but chooses not to. And that is where he goes wrong. So <laughs> Mohammed sat there like, come into my parlour, said the spider to the fly. <laughs> go on. And Piers gave poor old rabbi here. <laughs> oh, dear. Here we go. Here we go. They raped women. They had sex with dead women's okay. bodies. They are evil. <laughs> well, I'm not laughing at that. We've had a minute each. I'm not laughing okay. at that. We've got a, a passionate start. Mohammed, let me you ask you about actually know that. Happened, I want to first, before you do that, I want to commend you, Piers, honestly, because bringing me on for the second time, <laughs> I have to commend you. And the fact that you actually condemned the settlements is very good. But people want to know, do you think the idea for a terrorist organisation? Uh, just for context, I condemn the settlements as well. I don't condemn anything else, but I do condemn them. Yes, I do, and I have done for many, many years. I've been writing to people. Well, in fact, nobody bleeding answers me nowadays. <laughs> so, we're back with Mohammed. Come on, Mohammed. Uh, no. You don't think that terrorist organization? Okay, well, if you look at the UN definition of terrorist organization, they say killing civilians for political reasons. So you asked my opinion. No, but it's, I, it's I the UN no, definition. Sorry, sorry. The, according to the UN definition, it's killing civilians for political objectives. Why are they not terrorist organizations? Well, it, well, you've asked me a straight question. Oh, I don't dear. think they are terrorists. So what you're oh, saying, dear, like me, this, me, the ones the ones who kill babies like this are not... Now, luckily, they've blacked it out. They've blanked it out, Talk TV, because he does use the visuals quite a lot all the way through the one hour and eight minutes, 29 seconds. He's always flashing these pictures up. And I'm so glad that Talk TV has um, done what they did because uh, the children don't deserve to be exploited on national TV for Mohammed Hijab to make a point. Come on. Terrorists. It's horrific. So the people who kill babies are terrorists. Well, let me, let me respond. <laughs> yes. Let me respond. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll both, it's not your turn. You can both go into this. Here's my response to <laughs> it's that. It's not your I'll turn. I'll talk carefully about this. I'll be very honest about my own feelings. Right. I have a real moral quandary about this. I'm in a quandary. Because as a father, I, I hate these scenes of kids being killed in Gaza. It's horrific, right? We all know it's horrific. Well, are they a terrorist organisation, well, though? I'm, I'm about to explain to you what I think my position is. Yes. My position is after what happened on October the 7th, it was so barbaric, so disgusting. So you can right. kill children. Well, no, what you can do... That's exactly what terrorists say, by the way. Let me ask you a question. Wait, this is not me. Exactly this is, is someone else on. becoming the host you of can, the show. Can, 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 now introduce you. I'm not going to be here. You're not here to interview him. Oh, now listen. This is why we can't have nice things.
because you boys can't bleed play nicely. <laughs> oh, dearie me. How long did it take? Four minutes, 58 to the centre, this debacle. And just to stop you, like, hanging on the edge of your chair, thinking, what happens next, girl? What happens next? Basically, that for the whole one hour. Come on. Go to the zone show. You please, do this all the please. time. It will Come on. Let it happen tonight. Of course. Rubbish it. Let me ask. I'm respectful. No, no, no. Stop I'm interviewing the interviewer and be respectful. And be respectful. Let me respond. Tell me, sir. Is it social class issue? No. I, I, don't, <laughs> I do not believe so. They kill civilians for political You have to let me answer. Go ahead. Okay. Here's my answer to that. Oh, when Hamas did what they did. Right. Two things. Yes. One, Hamas knew exactly what Israel's response would be. Yes. They knew they would come incredibly I hard. Think he's I'm, the Wait, Wait a minute. I'm not absolving anybody. I'm not I'm absolving anybody. I'm not absolving Hamas. Okay. I mean, I'm you know. saying the West Bank is not West Bank. I know. Hamas. I know. Hamas. Let me, you have to let me answer. You've got 44 children killed like this in the West Bank. This is, this, is, this, is, this is ridiculous. Wait a minute, rubbish. Really. Let me just ask you quickly. Go ahead. I believe Israel has a right to defend itself from after that terrorist attack. Yeah, yeah, there's more grandstanding from here. So I'll move on because we're here for the action, aren't we, girls and boys? Just like Troops. anybody else, have to be examined. Have to have, have to look at all. Then the what's your opinion about? Yeah, I think that. If, look, here's my opinion. You think? Let me be straightforward about this, right? You do that. Anybody you think? Well done, you. Anybody, Clap. whether it's the IDF, I'm consistent in this manner. You are. If if, if it's proven with un, beyond reasonable doubt, yes, that these people have killed civilians in both of our faith traditions. Yes, and how do you actually grade reasonable? Because reasonable to you might not be reasonable to somebody else. But do 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 go on. Go Islam on. Islam and Judaism. Yes. In the Quran is mentioned. In the prophet, he said it himself. You cannot kill a, a woman. You cannot kill a child. No. I condemn them. I condemn them. That's what I do. Straight away. Whether it's Muslim, yes. whether it's non-Muslim, yes. whether it's Christian or anybody else. I've already said that. Yes. So I'm not being inconsistent here. My question is, if that is exactly the barometer that we're using, right. if that's the moral reasoning that we're using, yes. then we have to say, look, if you have a 100 to 1 ratio, and that's what... It Sorry, but... Uh, do you know... Is there anybody out there that actually knows what the bleeding hell he's on about? What point he's trying to make? Because, like, you know, it just carries on much like this all the way through. Uh, I mean, they get... I thought at one point they were going to start getting a bit physical, if you get me. But it sort of blew over, thankfully. So where are we now? Let's have some more action -y. Come on. Come on, Rabbi. Give him what for? Is, your, is it your go, dear? Excuse, excuse, let me, All right. Okay, fine. Come no, on, let's hide in your hospital. Okay. One face-to-face face conference. Right, I love this Hamas man. I love him. I'm okay with face-to-face face conference. Block two, oh, I like it. Block two is it's exactly... It's the honourable way. Block two is exactly... Oh. This way. Go ahead, let's go. My only observation... He hasn't had a question. So far, you're being more personal and ad hominem than yes. he is. With all due right. respect, I think that's extremely unfair. Because well, you are. every time I say anything, no, listen. And you Muhammad keep, you keep like answering if, for him. If, if, if Muhammad, when you actually ask him questions, because he, he won't answer. All this. If Muhammad, if Muhammad, if Muhammad's answer. job wants to be re a representative and ambassador of Islam, then he has to take responsibility. For Piers regret saying that he's making, he's being more ad hominem because uh, in a minute, poor old Muhammad Hijab or good old Muhammad Hijab rectifies that small point and he ad hominems away. He does. Yes, he does. He makes all sorts of claims about the dear old rabbi. You seem obsessed with Jewish sex. It's bizarre. Yesterday, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually spoke about yeah. Ben Shapiro's wife. Right, let's go back. Surgical. Yeah. Israel is only going after the fighters. Israel has put in humanitarian corridors for the, for the Palestinians to go south. Hamas shoots them and makes sure they don't go. Hamas builds its military structures. Oh, right, dear. Shifa Hospital is this much hospital and it's this much military. They love using Palestinians. Listen, let's get this right. The IDF don't let me hand out teddy bears to the kids Gaza, you know, and put them in Ubers and move them from the north to the south for their safety. So let's just stop the rhetoric. Everybody over there that isn't Hamas or the IDF are innocent civilians, okay? And we need to actually embrace that. And I'm not on either side, I'm just on the side of bleeding sense, really. A bit of common sense, a bit of common ground. You guys, come on. You're supposed to be leaders in your communities and you do this. It's like a small Sinai desert, isn't it? Let's have a free day war on Uncensored on Talk TV with Piers Bleed Morgan. Come on. And that's why they've stolen their money. They got, no. they got about $16 Emotive. billion dollars no from the international Shush. community. There isn't one bomb shelter in, in Gaza. They don't care about the, the okay. civilians right, at all. Here we go. doing the right thing. What I'm saying is the 100, 100 to 1 ratio comes from the following figures. We know oh, that 10,000 civilians have died. Of them, oh, uh, according dear. to the IDF, as reported by The Guardian, 60, <laughs> dozens, they say, about 60. The uh, Guardian? Oh, that's the oracle of all that's, uh, yeah, real. Yeah. Hamas died. 
which we're being liberal by saying 100 to 1 figures. For every one Hamas, you have to emotive. kill 100 civilians. That's effectively what we're saying. Right. If the trajectory continues as it is, if the trajectory continues as it is, <laughs> then you have to kill 3 million Palestinian civilians. Now, in context, this guy is about 7 foot, if he's an inch. He is a big lump of a man, right? And I've never... If you're that big, you don't need to be like this. You should be a bit more centred. Um, he says he's uh, a graduate of Oxford University and he's quite proud of himself. I mean, they must have lowered the bar somewhat because he struggles intellectually. He really does. And he's got more dogma. And if anything, it, it's uh, it just both of them, both of them. I mean, once you put religion in and just light a bleed match. But he uh, mistakes ed is what he calls education is dogma. Because I don't think he's ever done any critical thinking. You take on board what an idea, you look at it from every angle. Even angles that you don't agree with or you don't care for, or you don't want to look at. That's what you need to do to call yourself educated. To just like be dogmatic and have only one position and one position only. That's why, that's why they're both shouting at each other, you know, dears. Yes, and they've been shouting at each other metaphorically, not these two. They're just the latest... Uh, yeah, manifestation of what's been going on for about 70 odd years and it's never worked before and it's not going to work now. So, here we go. In order to kill 30,000 Hamas fighters, if you want to ex extinguish them, eviscerate them, annihilate them, destroy them, All those you adjectives. have to do that. Now you have Herzog, who is the president that you, uh, you interviewed, saying that all Palestinians, they are responsible. See, the thing is, I don't know how, would you say Piers is probably, as the crow flies, about, I'd say six foot away from him to be, yeah, to be nice. Probably about six foot. Why is he shouting and screamed at him? You don't need to do any of that. You just need to make your point. And if it's valid, you don't get yourself like in this fix, do you? It's very emotional, you know, very over emotional. <laughs> It's more, about, more it's, more, it's more about his ego and it's more about the rabbi's ego. It's about their individual egos as men. Nothing to do with their religion or their politics or anything. It's to do with their egos as men. And that is why we can't have nice things, you know. Especially in the Middle East, dears. Come he's on. been more slippery than the lubricants that he sells. Fighting and arguing all the time, my dears. That's the reality of the situation. <laughs> Did you really just say that? You know, you seem obsessed with Jewish sex. It's bizarre. Yesterday, you actually spoke about Ben Shapiro's wife. Yes, you actually, you, you said yes, to Ben Shapiro, yes, your wife's a carrot, but you're more of a man. Is that what you're trying to yes, say? Right. Then you said that Jews have can BDSM. We, you're speaking about no, sexual no, no, lubricants while people are dying. You know, Muhammad, get your head out of the Jewish bedroom. It's really bizarre. Can let we me, get it? Can we get it? Let me be anyway. clear. No, no. Sexual lubricants? How can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? You speak about five-year-old girls being ready so now it's gone from the situation which is really extreme and humanitarian absolute catastrophe and crisis in one fell swoop somehow and uncannily <laughs> to dildos and if you're like me shaking your head the other end you know <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things because you guys just talk a load of bleeding nonsense that's what you do yes you need to calm your knickers down that's what you do bleed now you should get somebody that comes from, like, I don't know, Korea or Taiwan or Bangladesh or out of Mongolia. And somewhere, one that comes from, like, Hawaii and, the, uh, what's it, Iceland. Anywhere like that. Anywhere that isn't the Middle East or Europe. And those are the sort of people you should get in a room, right, and thrash it out. People that aren't actually involved. Because you lot are never going to be bleeding. Well, you're not going to make any salient points, are you? You brought it down to the level of lubricants and dildos, Mohammed. Come on. I mean, talk to Let's go back let me, to the issue. Let me ask a question. Why are you shaking? I've got five minutes in your Come on, this, this is serious. Why are you shaking? Come on, leave him. We're going to cut all this stuff out. But why do they platform this guy? Because he is, you know, he's kind of like intellectually a thug, isn't he, really? And they do, it's a sort of repressed patriarchal religion, isn't it? dogma or whatever it is so anything 
SCX sort of gets a bit hot under the collar, doesn't he? He really does. Oh, Wait, dear. Why? Why? Leave it. People should see what he represents. It is like abusing each other personally. Oh, no, okay, Pierce, Pierce, Pierce. I want to stick let's, to the debate. Let's get to the debate. If you don't want to do it, we'll end the debate. Let's get, let's get to the debate. Right, let, me, let me ask Mohammed a question. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I don't disagree Please with you. Please, So far, it seems to me... <laughs> yes. You're going to regret this. A, ...a fact that many, many more Palestinian civilians, innocent people, right. are getting killed as retribution by the Israelis for what happened on October the 7th. That's indisputable, right? Their argument... But is... both these privileged people that have been brought up and educated in the West, um, uh, Rabbi in America, Mohammed in Britain, actually have the gall at the same time as real shit's happening over there to sit on a platform that's been provided for them, yeah, and have a bling, great big slangy match for their own egos so they can massage their own egos to their followers. You know, rather than actually, they profess, again, it's like I say to you, reprehensible adults that hide behind children. And it happens all over the world. And it's happened forever. He comes on there, he shows pictures of children. Luckily, Talk TV blanked them out. But the children aren't in a good shape. And they're not of this world anymore. And he can show those pictures on a platform to make a point when he's shouting and screaming like a banshee. And being rude and saying sexual stuff that has got nothing pertaining to the people that are living in real hardship over there. And the hospitals have got no uh, electricity, they've got no medical stuff, they've got no water, they've got no internet, they've got no electric, they've got no petrol. They're walking from hither to thither while the IDF is carpet bombing them behind them or whatever they do. I mean, don't quote me on it. And then you've got the Rev, what's his name, the rabbi that could actually make a few salient points and maybe meet somewhere on some common ground. No! No, no. As I say, you've got a three-day war condensed into an hour's programme on Piers Morgan. And Piers professes. So, oh, well, at the end, it goes to the end. I'm not going to do it because I'm just, you know what, I can't be bothered. It's Friday, I want to let the hair down, have a rest. Um, but he does say, at the end, well, I am disappointed because I thought that we could make, you know, some common ground here. Uh, really? I think you really enjoyed uh, showcasing these lemons. So let's go to the end and see what happens. It doesn't get any better. Come on. Right, what happens Very next? Please, what I don't oh, yes, they are. please go home. That the Muslim world, please what on the show. And I took that as a perfect extrapolation of what we've been trying to achieve, which is giving both sides a voice and a platform. Right. Give my minute. What has not worked, what has not worked, yeah. Is bringing you together like this because actually it's Arrogant. being a, an ear fucking screaming Egos. match. So you're now going to get a minute each to, okay. to summarize, right? Did the Hobbit and uh, Jesus? Do, I don't know who did the Jews? Did the Jews torment or whatever it's called? Yeah, they they worship Jesus, don't they? Do you know what I mean? I don't even know. <laughs> but whether God say worship, don't they say something about egos and everything? You know, <laughs> they must do. And it's not about you, summary, stop being so bombastic. I want to see if we can at least pretend to be constructive here, right? Yeah, okay. Because the not world destructive. needs this somehow to end. Shame to okay. itself. So, Rabbi Shreya, you go first. First of all, Mohammed, thank you very much for wearing these Israeli colours. Thank you for your support of the Jewish state. We greatly appreciate it's it. Bullshit. I should have done the same. Secondly, uh, I, I'm sorry you wouldn't shake my hand. I will shake your hand any time because I do believe what Pierce said. We have to have peace and harmony going forward. It's a shame that you said no. Third... Peace will come when my Arab brothers and sisters who are the green on this map accept that tiny little thing that I'm covering with my finger, a tiny little thing called Israel. And when they understand that Israel is not the Jewish homeland, Israel is actually the great Arab hope. If oh, our Arab God, brothers and sisters get played, well, the God. prosperity of Israel, the rights for women, the rights for freedom of, freedom of assembly, <laughs> to criticize their governments without fear the way the people in Hamas uh, in See, like, this is right at the end when they're wrapping it up and he's had an hour to come out with this point and in the last four minutes of the show, he's saying something that was worth listening to. Just ridiculous. These guys are just ridiculous. You need to stop, both of you. It would be murdered by Hamas, let alone in uh, Palestinian Authority. They'd be thrown in jails. Israel's the great hope. Always making this. his point. Islam is a great world religion. It created the world's first universities. It introduced agricultural reforms in Europe under... Yeah, he comes Akbar across to being really benevolent now, but he's you not. Had um, you had Al Razi who introduced the medical reforms 600 years before the. the All right. And if we return to that kind of advance, not the Islam that is being advocated All right. by Mohammed Ijab, which is antiquated All right. and well, dark ages, right. what do you think? then we will have peace. Okay. So God bless my See, yeah, about the sting in the tail. He can't like say something nice without actually whipping round and like being quite rude and putting him down at the end. So. Uh, so uh, Mohammed, shake your hand anytime. Mohammed, a minute for you. 
as I said before, and I'll say it again, justice is a prerequisite for peace. If this was the case that it was South Africa and both nations had a, a long and known history with each other, Israel and South Africa, there's a book called The Secret Alliance that you can read for your further information. If this was South oh, Africa and the blacks were kicked out of their country, they were kicked out of their country by the whites, like the Nakba, 700,000. Uh, Palestinians were kicked out and then they had the audacity to talk about peace nobody would be accepting it the so I often think about these guys because a lot of the time they're because of their religion you know they could do with going out and having a dance getting it off their chest or playing sports or something because they seem to wrap up all their manly testosterone in uh, this really don't they and when he says about when the blacks are kicked out of their homeland I think you find that they were in South Africa they were put in what's called townships, which is a polite way of get, saying ghettos, really, wasn't it? If you remember. Remember how what they used to do, you know? Oh, it was terrible, absolutely terrible. Did they used to give them shipping containers when the average temperature in the day is like 130, 140 degrees? Yeah, live in a, a metal shipping container. That's what you need. Yeah, you need that. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. No electric, no water, nothing. So that did happen. And yeah. I mean, their government called them ter terrorists. We called them heroes, didn't we? So, you know... The apartheid laws of South Africa are the same, effectively, as the apartheid laws of Israel. <coughs> You're not allowed to come back to the country unless you are of a specific ethnicity, which meets the requirements Specific, my dear, not specific. The 100 to 1 ratio specific. being killed in Gaza. The, this seems to be acceptable to Shmoli or unholy Shmoli. It seems to be acceptable to him. It's, it's not acceptable it's a very to good rhyme. Bobby Bryant. A little bit it's not acceptable to me. It's not acceptable to the people. When we see these images, Images, it's absolutely not acceptable. So peace is uh, just as a requirement for peace. Okay. By the way, it's no, that's smoothly, no, 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 no,